Honorable Chief Minister of Maharashtra Ji, Divine Fadnavis Ji, Honorable Ministers and distinguished guests on the dais, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank the Maharashtra Tourism to have invited me here this evening and to be a part of this most worthy and valuable initiative that the Maharashtra government has taken. I also want to thank the Honorable Secretary for saying all those lovely words about me. I'm least deserving of them. I just feel very proud to be a citizen of India and very proud to be a resident of the city of Mumbai and indeed the state of Maharashtra. I've said this many times before and I'll say it again that of the 73 years of my life, more than 45 years have been spent in this wonderful city of Mumbai and everything that I may have achieved has come to me during the time when I was in this city. And I want to thank this city and the people of this country for having made this privilege for me. Tourism has been uh, given a huge boast by many statistics and lovely visuals that we've seen here this evening. Uh, I would merely be repeating all that has been said. I just feel that um, the promotion of tourism has been something that has been very dear to me. As a brand ambassador for an adjoining state in Gujarat, we've seen the kind of benefits that it created. I do not know whether it will be counterproductive for me to be working um, as an ambassador for Maharashtra as well, but if there is any way in which my services can be utilized, sir and ladies, for the promotion of this state, for the promotion of tourism in this state, I shall be more than happy to do it. There are many informations that um, the people all over the world are unaware of as far as Maharashtra is concerned, and in particular, tourism. Um, recently, I had the privilege of uh, uh, joining forces with uh, Tiger Preservation in Maharashtra. And perhaps many of you, and even I, did not know that the largest population of tigers in the entire country is in the state of Maharashtra. And normally people associate this with either Rajasthan or Gujarat or Bengal or uh, the Sundarban area. But these are some of the informations that we are unaware of. So I do hope that through the wonderful ages of this travel mart that has been inaugurated, a lot of this information, a lot of initiatives that have been taken will uh, find some fruit in many of the delegates that are here today from all over the country. I've always believed that um, that each one of us, every citizen of the country, when we travel outside our own country and go abroad, we are all ambassadors of India. How we behave, how we talk, how we conduct ourselves, represents and reflects what our country is all about. So next time when you go out, please bear this in mind that you are not just representing an individual, you are representing your own country. And hopefully, by your conduct, by your behavior. I want that the foreigner should be able to say, I want to visit the land where this gentleman comes from. And that is how we can propagate our discussion. I believe that the World Tourism Day was celebrated yesterday and one of the taglines that was uh, conducted was, a billion tourists, a billion opportunities. We all know that tourism is almost the lifeline of any country. If I'm not wrong, I think uh, perhaps out of the 11 uh, opportunities that people get for jobs, one opportunity in that, one out of every 11 job seeker has a connection with tourism. So you can imagine how important tourism is. I'll only want to end now by saying that the ex-president of the United States of America Mr. Bill Clinton, when he visited India, he, he said some wonderful things. But one of the things he said was that the world will always be divided into two kinds of people. One that had seen the Taj Mahal and one that had not seen the Taj Mahal. And may I just say today that through this initiative that the Maharashtra government is taking, may we in time to come be able to say that in time to come, there will be two kinds of people. One that have seen Maharashtra 
and one that have not seen Maharashtra. I was just speaking to the Honorable Culture Minister and he suggested, actually asked me a question. And he said, can we state that Mumbai is the entertainment city of Asia? And I said, why not? Our films are worldwide popular. We see a lot of appreciation from Middle East countries, from Far East countries, from Japan, from China. And um, may we all work together along with the government of India and whatever little that I can do in my uh, position as a member of this wonderful fraternity of films, that we make Mumbai City the entertainment city of the world. Thank you. Dr. Mahesh Sharmaji, my colleagues, Shri Vinod Tavadeji, Shri Ram Shindeji, Poonam Mahajanji, Paragalavni Ji, Secretary Tourism and Culture, Walsa Nair Singh, MD, MTDC, Shri Parag Jain Nanotia, Joint MD, Shri Satish Soni, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to this first ever Maharashtra International Travel Mart. And I'm happy with the response we got for this travel mart because this morning, I opened the exhibition where I could see all the who's who from travel and tourism industry, including the stakeholders from various states who have showcased their strengths in the exhibition and lot of exchanges and engagements are happening in the exhibition. It also gives me pleasure and pride to announce that from today, the first ever center of scuba diving in entire India has become officially operational in Sindhudurg of Maharashtra. I think that would be added international advantage for tourists who are visiting Maharashtra. The organizational and managerial strength of Maharashtra has been recently showcased when we announced that this time the Sihastha Mahakumbha at Nashik and Trambak would be a green kumbha, Harit kumbha. Teams and tourists visited Nashik and Trambak and on the second day the entire city was totally